The Trapeze High Availability Module uses controller clustering and hitless failover techniques to simplify adds, moves, changes, and upgrades, reduce operating costs up to 80%, and deliver non-stop wireless availability. Here's how it works. Let's begin by examining the industry norms for wireless LAN configuration and resiliency. Wireless networks are normally configured one controller at a time. It is tedious, painstaking work in large deployments. Each wireless LAN controller is given a unique configuration defining the access points or APs it will manage and the services it will enable on each of them. Unlike fat APs of the past, which must be individually configured, thin APs obtain their configuration from their designated controller as part of the boot sequence. So when an AP boots, it typically uses a standards-based discovery process to find the controller that will manage it and from which it will download its own software and configuration. In this way, APs and controllers are bound to one another. Building redundancy into the configuration is more complicated. It requires a fully loaded controller on standby, and its configuration must match those of all the other controllers it is expected to back up. Another acute problem is the pain of ongoing maintenance. Not only is the traditional hot standby approach time-consuming to set up, it also requires constant maintenance whenever adds, moves, and changes are made. Meticulous attention and discipline is needed to preserve the integrity of the hot standby configuration. Otherwise, it easily gets out of sync and becomes worthless. When a controller fails, all the access points it was managing go offline, causing all active sessions to be dropped. Then the hot standby controller is triggered to take over. The problem is, no matter how quick the recovery, all users experience some level of downtime. How severe depends on the applications and protocols being used. Many users will experience slight application delays, while others will get application timeouts, requiring them to log in all over again. Voice calls will also be dropped, requiring the user to redial. Although small configuration changes can be made in real time with minimal user disruption, upgrading the controller software requires a scheduled maintenance window because too many users are affected when the controller and all its APs are rebooted. Now let's see how network configuration and resiliency are improved with a Trapeze High Availability module. Trapeze's approach is different. Think of it as controller virtualization. Controllers are configured as a cluster, not one by one. They all get a common configuration and operate together as a pool of resources, collectively managing all of the access points. All services, such as VLANs, SSIDs, ACLs, radio profiles, even AAA, are configured together at the network level. This reduces configuration time 80% for large networks. Access points are bound to the cluster as a whole, not to one specific controller. All this makes moves and changes a cinch, because the configuration doesn't change at all, and no hot standby needs to be maintained. The clustered approach eliminates application downtime. If one of the controllers goes offline for any reason, the APs previously managed by the offline controller are automatically redistributed among remaining controllers in the cluster instantaneously, without losing a single active session, not even voice calls. This hitless failover capability also enables in-service upgrades without impacting user sessions. The seed controller coordinates the in-service upgrade so that each controller is upgraded in turn. As each controller goes out of service and reboots, the APs it was managing are reassigned to another controller just as we described before. Another advantage of the virtual controller cluster approach is how it supports large deployments where controllers are spread across two data centers or distributed to wiring closets. In normal operation, you want APs to boot from nearby controllers to avoid wasting backbone or WAN bandwidth. But in a failover condition, the APs should use different controllers elsewhere in the network. This is done by having multiple affinity groups, each of which contains only a subset of all the controllers that make up a virtual controller cluster.
For example, imagine a large campus in which the primary data center is experiencing power problems. This AP Affinity feature allows an AP that normally boots from controllers in Affinity Group 1 in the unstable primary data center to fail over to Affinity Group 2 located in the stable alternate data center. This provides complete protection against data center or wiring closet blackout. Unlike other resiliency approaches that depend on having an expensive pre-configured hot standby controller, Trapeze Networks uses the existing infrastructure more intelligently to simplify adds, moves, changes, and upgrades, reducing operating costs up to 80% and delivering non-stop wireless availability.